Hello. Class of cannabis. It's been a glorious year. I want someone in here to stand to their feet and tell me their best way to smoke. Who will it be? Would you want to what your name goes? Not him. It don't really matter when we all agree. What's your best way to smoke? Cause I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling it up. Smoke like I ain't had enough. So what's up? This big James happening in. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is this is this is what's on your mind. So we tapping in about the um about the uh, contract with Black Americans that Ice Cube. Black America. Black America, right, right. Yeah, it's the same. Black right. Americans, Black America. We can say it how it's written. Black Americans. Black America. Black America. Let's get it right. All right, for sure. So we are gonna talk about that. And dig into that a little bit, which we both agree that it's a dope. It's it's put together nicely. It's worded nicely. And um, up on just my reading the summary off my phone, off a link on my phone. It's uh, very informative in the in the summary. It's a lot of information in there. And um, one specifically I want to talk about is like with the banking, the fact that. They're going to open up what it's proposing is opening up for black businesses to be able to get um, nice business loans with decent interest rates where the interest rates ain't killing them, where it's probably turning turn, turn the person away and not even want to get a loan because the interest rate might be so high just because you're black. So, you know, it's opening, it'll open up a lot of things and shine a light on a lot of things to where, like, if, if, that, if, if an institution is still trying to do that kind of stuff to you, something will happen to them. It'll be a penalty or something like that. You know what I mean? To where they ain't going to want to, they going to want to do the shit the right way, man. But and it'll put everybody on a fair ground, opening up them loans for, uh, for black businesses, for people that want to get loans for homes. Because a lot of times, you know, trying to move into a home in, in certain areas, you know, we get discriminated against. You know what I mean? So it might cost um, five hundred thousand. The house might be worth five hundred thousand. So, but for you, it might be they might raise it to five ninety or something like that, though. But for Becky and John, you know, just being honest, it might be um, oh, they might lower it to four eighty just to get them in it. You know what I'm saying? Four seventy. So. And we need them kind of things to be to, to kind of adjust the way this bullshit is right now, though, to make it better for us, to give us better opportunities. But the contract, I'm, I'm feeling the contract. What you think about it? Uh, as far as that like, part, like, like I love the contract. You know what I'm saying? And it's like like what what I keep in mind as I read it. You know what I'm saying? And it went through it. It's like the contract of Black America is not asking for a handout. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much just asking for equal playing ground right you know what i'm saying if you have certain you know what I'm saying, ethnical groups you know what i'm saying that's already set before you even born you know what i'm saying you already have so, a right. certain outline for you yep. you know what i'm saying and that's that's something i can say is 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 missing within the black community you sure. know what i'm saying it's like we come out shit, we don't know what the plan is <laughs> you gotta figure it out you know, you know we, and, 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 as, and sometimes as, as a youngster you gotta be a part in the in figuring it out you know what i'm saying and then at the same time even if you figure out when you are a youngster you know what i'm saying i want a ball i want to play basketball football right. whatever it is right you know what i'm saying but i don't even got the money you know what i'm saying to get the proper equipment for me to train the way i want to right that what you're speaking of it helps right most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because this is it's, it's, it's acquiring something that, like, a business that I want to tend to. Right. Yes, you know and I want to be a, a good sportsman or a good sportswoman or however it may be. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I need, you know what I'm saying, the proper equipment to get forth with this. Right. That right there allows it. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? So, I love it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I love it. And it has to be, it has to be, you know what I'm saying, well put together. You know what I'm saying? It has to have like like genuine participation so look check it out i'm gonna read it i'm gonna read it the bank lending reform in the in the summarized version so bank lending will be 
regulated to require banks to lend a percentage of all loans and credit categories on an equal basis to the black population each bank serves however the minimum threshold must yearly meet the percentage equal to the national bank black population currently approximately 13.4 percent rates on black loans federally and from banks to the same average rates as whites basically just to put everything on an equal playing playing field and to get us to where we need to be so man it, it's dope man as i was reading it i started smiling mm. you know because it kind of made me proud a little bit and that's this is something that definitely needs to be pushed through it definitely needs to be pushed through i believe so i believe so let's check this one out so past federal program providing child with a government funded trust account a birth starting with a thousand dollar contribution so they can they'll they'll when they're born they'll have an account with a thousand dollars in it as proposed by senator booker and representatives presley accounts to be managed by the treasury and only those born into lower wealth families would receive more contribution each year up to $46,500 total. At age 18, access to the funds allowed, but use restricted to asset enhancing actions such as buying homes, starting businesses, and funding education, which is dope. Look, I gotta, look, I gotta, uh, I Oh, that, that's that's dope, man. I, I really feel that, man, because, man, it's the, the, the thing about it, though, is if it can get passed and get through and turn into law and be something that's really happening, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's hope. You know what I'm saying? It's real. It's, it's that. Good hope. You know what I'm saying? It's a plan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm coming into this world. Yeah doing something for real you know what i'm saying yeah that's super dope <laughs> that's tight you know what i'm saying that you can read something like that you know what i'm saying you just get overwhelmed with joy yep. you know what i'm saying like man if this is like really like practice you know what i'm saying like the world not just the world but like you know i said the world that we live in you know what i'm saying it'll be super cool you know what i'm saying you walk up the street it'll, it'll be more you know what i'm saying what's up brother What's up, sister? Yeah, I said it'd be, I'm, I'm pretty sure there'd be a whole lot more. See, and, right, and then, you know, it might, it, it'll definitely give a lot of people a different outlook coming from wherever you live in that, wherever you stay at, because you know you got this, you know you got, and it's going, it, it, you would think it would make a, make a person push for more and want to do more and want people around, around them to push them and, and have positive people around them that's going to push them too. You know, and that's going to want to see them get there, you know, not just the parents and stuff like that. Because, you know, coming up when we come up back, man, it's like the whole community be involved, in, you know, in your neighborhood, whether they looking out for you or not, though. You know, in some kind of way, motherfuckers involved in shit, though. You know what I'm saying? And you'll get out or whatever. And then every day, you know what I'm saying? In your neighborhood or wherever you at. But, like, not to cut you, but that's like, like what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? I go to someone like, I said, I like, I like that if you're going by books up or whatever, or, right. or numbering, it's like the last one with the, the black responsibility. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, because with any, like, I would say group, like organization or group activity or this contract, you know what I'm saying, for black America, everybody has to play their part. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And this, you know what I'm saying, just to read it, the black responsibility. Chronic poverty creates a, an atmosphere full of negativity, frustration, hopelessness, depression, alcoholism, drug abuse, crime, and violence. These are some of the conditions that plague the black community, which is dealing with extreme generational poverty. As we begin to gain social and economic equality, it is our duty to clean up ourselves and our community. This contract is a two-way street. 
As we gain social and economic equality, we must begin to dissolve any bitterness in our heart for past wrongs. We must become better citizens who we are more for, who are more productive on all levels of American society. We really must step up. We must we, we really must step up past the contract with Black America with no more excuse left in the kitty. Uh, our entertainers should be persuaded to deliver more positive content leads that leads our youth to make better choices in life. A new pride must develop with these new opportunities and we must fight against negativity, frustration, hopelessness, depression, alcoholism, drug abuse, crime, and violence. You know what I'm saying? And that plays a big part. You know what I'm saying? That's sacrifice on all levels. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, you know what I'm saying, in our communities now, it is like how they say our entertainers. You know what I'm saying? That's all across, you know what I'm saying, like our airwaves, you know what I'm saying, our people, you know what I'm saying, it's glorified, you know what I'm saying, to like hurt our own, you can say. You know what I'm saying? That has Speaking to be of the entertainment. Yeah. yeah. That's what they say. You know what I'm saying? Some are entertainers. It's glorified. You know what I'm saying? To like, because they, it, it, it have been sure. plenty of interviews. They were like, man, it's like, you know what I'm saying? This is for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like actually coming out here living this and doing that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, are you taking as if, like, you know what I'm saying? This is it. You know what I'm saying? So it just imagine it. if niggas was like, man, shit, you know, go to college. If you don't like college, invest your money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's showing it. Yeah, it's showing it. But it's it's a few rappers out there, man. That's that's uh, yeah. That's doing doing stuff like that. Though. Cube is one of them. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, but that's dope, though. You know what I'm saying? It's like with any plan. You know what I'm saying? To like better a community or whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? It it has to have some accountability. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And if we pushing for it, you know what I'm saying, we gotta play our part. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? It's like we can't we can't sit there and keep playing the blame game. And, and you think if, if them things change, if them things change, it would make it um it should make it easier. And you would think if them things change, it would make it easier for you to do the right thing and you would try to uh you know, take that right path and make shit happen. You know what I'm saying? And be productive in the right way versus doing that bullshit, man. I think that's a great opportunity, man, because to to, to be able to have, you know, some kind of um, trust, some kind of um, backing in, in coming up and knowing that you have something that when you able old enough to understand that you have something that can be there for you to um, invest in something, that's going to benefit your family, that'll take you to school, you know what I mean? You can start a business and, you know, and be able to get loans and, 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 and if you need them, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and man, it's, it's, that's dope. It's dope. And it's like, to be able to live wherever yeah. you want to live, you know what I mean? To be able to do all kind of stuff that we're prohibited from doing in the way that it's supposed to be done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it. Straight up. Contract with Black America. So look, I advise everybody, you know what I mean, go check it out, go read it. You know, if you don't want to read through the whole thing, I think the whole, the original version is about 22 pages, right? So yeah. the summarized version is 13 pages if you check it out on your phone. You probably could just even Google that too, just yeah. to get the summarized version of it. You know what I mean? And take a quick read of it and, you know, get some understanding about it, man. But it's dope though, man. Shout out to Q. And shout out to all the other uh, people that sat down and put that together. And, um, you know. Yeah, you couldn't hope out, you know what I'm saying? You're putting it out there. Sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's people out here that's on the thinking level, you know what I'm saying? That's not just thinking for themselves, but sure. for the masses of us. For sure. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I feel as if contract with Black of America, those, you know what I'm saying, that sat down and did that, you know what I'm saying? They just reached out, you know what I'm saying? They gave everybody a big hug. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like, check this out. Yep. Sure. So look, man, so like we said, go check it out and check us out at www.bestwaytosmoke.com. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Best Way to Smoke. I'm Big J. 
man, like he always say, like hit the like yeah, button, yes, yeah, sir, subscribe, yes, sir, <laughs> for sure, share, yes, tell yes. a friend. <laughs> yep, best way. Sign the fam. Um, Y'all already know how I get down. Over the last few months, I've been really going deep into this um, political space. Um, you know, reading a lot of history, trying to understand how systems work. Um, not getting caught up in anybody's rhetoric, but looking for my damn self um, and just trying to figure out why we continue to you know flounder at the bottom. you know what is it? And what I found is that, is systems in place, as we all know. It ain't cause, you know, we ain't doing what we supposed to do as black people because of course we all can do better. You know, there's shit that we need to do to clean up our cells and our community. But besides that shit, the system is fucked up. It's, it's just designed totally and not only design, but there's a dedication to keeping us at the bottom of this country. Um, and I don't know if we can count on any parties to get us about the shit, to be honest. Um, so we are going to have to do a lot of things different as a black community. Um, we have to pool our resources. We have to think about ourselves. You know, we love all the other races of the world, but at some point we got to figure out how do we get ahead? Cause everybody's on top of us, but us, um, or everybody's on top of us. And the shit ain't going to work. We ain't going to survive this the way it's going. It's just design that I, I can't see the future. So we gotta change this shit. Um, everybody's been mad at me because I haven't been on the, the fucking, um, you know, the gravy train of, of these candidates, you know, especially Joe Biden and Harris, you know. I don't, I don't trust none of them. No president has done right by us. So I don't, I don't I don't trust none of them. So putting our you know, hopes and dreams behind any of them just don't work. We gotta make them do what we want them to do, and there's only a few ways to do that. Now I've been making contacts, trying to you know talk about these real issues, you know. Um, you know, straight up, I believe the the Democrats have, they've been nice, you know, they've been um, cordial, so to speak. You know, I don't, I don't really see them pushing their policies in, in any different direction. You know, they're still talking this minority, minority, people of color shit uh, that don't necessarily include us, that don't necessarily include black Americans, especially um, descendants of slaves, um, Ados, American descendants of slaves. That don't, that, that ain't specifically us. It's everybody. We ain't gonna get shit. Cause when you look around, everybody hate us. So we still at the bottom of that. Um, so, you know, I think the Democrats, they, you know, they got every black celebrity and shit on their team, so they just figure, you know, tell Q to shut the fuck up and vote. And so, I ain't gonna do that. You know, I'm gonna push the program. We got a program, I'm pushing it on everybody. Um, 
We also met with the Republicans and shit. They they brought us in. We talked to them. Um, they they moved their agenda a lot because of what we said. Um, you know, they put five hundred billion dollars on the table, and you know, but who knows? You know, who knows what's gonna really happen? You know, um, I just know one of them gonna win, and. I don't know if it can really matter to us. We got to just push whoever is in there because ain't nobody really solved our problems. Um, you know, people say we can't take another four years of this. And black people, we could take anything, shit. I mean, Joe Biden, um, you know, the Democrats, I believe they owe us. Um, will they do right by us at the end of the day? Who knows? Um, you know, I think the plan they have is, 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 you know, they're doing a lot when it comes to safety and police and all this shit. But, you know, that dough is thin. Everybody, money is them. We're not going to get no respect in this country without the cash. We ain't going to get no respect in this country without having money in our community. It just ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. So, everybody can be mad at me, pissed off at me. You know, I don't give a, you know, hey, y'all know what it is. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the truth. I ain't about to be part of nobody program, ain't nobody gonna, you know, get me to back down. Um, and if y'all don't wanna hear the truth, then that's your, you know, that's kind of a personal problem. Um, Cause I'm gonna keep spitting it how I see it, you know, and I think the problem is we a little too one-sided and we need to hold everybody to the fire and make sure everybody uh, do what they're supposed to do when it comes to black people not get caught up in a whole lot of white people business need to worry about our own what's going on with us and um and then when we get what we got to get then we'll you know welcome everybody but we gotta make a decision and we gotta push people to do something, to do something big and do it right now. 